Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Warrior playthrough. This of course is episode 15 and as you can see in my hot bar I've managed to make myself another mechanical worm. And so we're going to start off this episode by destroying the destroyer one more time because I said we'd need to. So in case we ever do have a solo eclipse happen, we can of course go ahead and make a, uh, make the, the, you know, the true night's edge or... Excalibur, whatever the hell it is, or the Blooming Terror Blade, if we're really lucky. Good lord. And the other thing I want to do in this episode is I would like to try to set up a surface mushroom biome so we could try and get the truffle to spawn. And a bunch of you guys were suggesting I should get the mushroom spear. And that's a very good idea indeed, because I've used it before in one of my other worlds, and it is absolutely ridiculous. It's fantastic against invasions, and it's it's definitely worth getting. I think it, I think it costs like 70 gold. So here we go. Now, we're going to switch out our uh, boots for the Star Veil, and I guess, can we do this yet? Can we do this? Where is the old sun at? Is it even here? It is not. It should turn nighttime any second now. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to this fight. Because <laughs> we're going to be able to do two types of damage to him, which is going to be ridiculous. It's going to be amazing. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, we do still have our buffs from the previous episode as well, so don't worry your faces. We are at least somewhat prepared, and we should be able to take him down relatively easily. So, yeah, and then after that, like I said, I'm going to try and set up a surface mushroom biome, so this should be pretty exciting, right? Get the trouble to spawn in. Not very often we see that little bugger, is it? <laughs> right, okay, let's just have a look and see what else we've got in the world to explore. So we've got that crimson there, we've got that crimson there, we have the hollowed biome over here hmm. it might be worth exploring the underground hollow to try and get some more souls of light because that's very useful indeed here we go hello mr destroyer you get up here you stupid imbecile oh good lord there you go hi how are you doing and buff there we go you press the b button to activate your buffs it'll activate all of the buffs that you currently have in your inventory even the ones that actually aren't buffs like battle potions for example Right. Okay, and health. There we go. Luckily, we have the greater healing potions, which replenish 150 health as opposed to 100, which is nice. Very nice indeed. Right. Let's just try and uh, focus on killing these little dude things because they're a pain in the ass. Die! Die, you little buggers. Right, okay. Now, the absolute topmost amount of luck we can have in this episode is if we manage to get solo eclipse to happen right after this night. You know? That would be absolutely insane, and I would love it if that could happen. <laughs> oh, man. That would be so cool. And health. There we go. Plenty of health. Good stuff. Good stuff. We are currently at 59 defense, because, of course, we've got ourselves... The, uh, the added defense from the well-fed buff, and of course the iron skin potion, very useful indeed. Alright, once this is done, we can try our hand at uh, trying to prepare for the Skeletron Prime and Twins fight. Things I'm not very much looking forward to, and I just use my health again, good stuff. There we go. This is easy! Easy, easy, easy! Oh my lord. And he's dead. <sighs> so easy. You think you're so difficult, but you're not. You're not. You call yourself a hard mode boss? <laughs> well, you're not. You're an embarrassment to everybody. Right, okay. Let's go ahead. What the devil? Hello. Look at you, you two types of damage taking things. Right. Let's go ahead and grab some mud blocks, shall we? Should we see if we've got any more mushroom seeds as well? Uh, okay. None on that one. Quick stack. Oh. Okay, no, we've got six instead of five. Nice, nice. Uh, mud blocks. Whoa! Okay, yes, we've definitely got enough mud blocks. <laughs> Holy mother of God. Right, now the question is, where the hell are we going to set this up? I'm thinking to the right-hand side. What do you guys think? I'm thinking to the right-hand side of my village. Yeah, I, I certainly don't see why not. Or we could put it over here. Which would kind of bridge the gap between the, the my snow biome... And the crimson over here. I'm thinking over here because it's relatively flat. And we can, of course, grab the trees while we're at it. Right, okay. We're doing pretty good. And actually, let's just quickly make the Excalibur before we head off and do this thing. There we go. Let's see if we get a good Excalibur. That would be really nice, of course. Uh, right, where you at? Where you at? Excalibur. Bada bing, bada boom. Unpleasant. Slightly higher damage. Okay. 
It's better than my Knight's Edge. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to take it. And it provides a nice amount of light as you use it as well, which is always nice. Should we try... Ah, it's just we're not going to be using it for very long, so I don't really see the point in reforging it. You know what I mean? It's going to be replaced fairly soon. I mean, again, if we're lucky enough to get a solar eclipse to happen, then we could just do that. <laughs> right, let's go ahead and grab some torches. Uh, how many torches do we have? 38. Nice. Let's light this place up, shall we? Just so you guys can see what we're doing as we go along. Hello! How are you doing? Oh, look at you bunch of pansies. You can't kill me. You can't kill me at all. And there's one thing I want to clarify from the last episode. I mentioned how I would be among the first YouTubers to uh, kill the destroyer with melee only weapons. I never said I was the first, okay? You guys have really got to listen to what I'm saying because a bunch of you guys were like, Hey, no, this guy freaking did it first. You said you were first and you're not. No! I never said I was the first, okay? I never said I was the first. I'm not trying to tell you off, but I'm just trying to tell you guys, please listen. <laughs> listen, okay? Listen, and then there won't be any misunderstandings or anything like that. Uh, apparently, a YouTuber by the name of Born Productions has also defeated the Destroyer with melee-only weapons. I, I didn't even know he existed, to be honest. I've never watched any of his videos, so I don't know. That might be something for me to do. But again... You know, just just listen, okay? If you listen, then everything will be good. Right, okay. There we go. So, we are now at the edge of this biome. You buddy! Oh, great. Look at you bunch of idiots. Why won't you just die? Right. So, what we need to do is we need to try and flatten out a piece of land. Because I prefer flat land over sloped land. Just because... You know, it's it's just easier to traverse. It's easy to travel in, I guess. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, are we getting any vertebrae from doing this? I feel like we're not. Hmm. Let me break that little mound right there. Good stuff. Right, so we're going to chop down all these trees. We're going to kill all these mobs who seem to be spawning in their millions. And we are going to make ourselves a mushroom biome. Just because, that's how you do. Wait, what the hell? For some reason, I'm not hearing the hurt sounds. Hold on, let, let me purposely get hurt. What the hell? There was no hurt sound. Huh? Why, that's weird. I don't get it. I broke the game somehow. I think I might have broken the game. Well, that's great. Python GB, the great breaker of games. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, I guess. Right, let's go ahead and start digging this thing out. I'm actually going to time lapse this so you guys don't have to watch. So I shall meet you guys once I've done this. Alrighty guys, the, the land is now flanned and as you can see we are about to go ahead and chuck some mud in here just because that's how we do things around here and if you could die that'd be great. Both of you, please go away. Thank you, all of you. Oh, so many of you, good lord. Right, let's continue placing this stuff down shall we? Oh yeah. The only thing is because we've only got six mushroom seeds, this may take quite a while to actually uh, happen. You know, the seed spreading might take a while for that to actually happen, so we may have to do a little bit of a, uh, a jump cut a little bit later in the episode, just so we can get this thing done. Right, if you could die, that'd be great. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying making myself a mushroom biome on the surface. Normally, I end up doing it in the sky or someplace ridiculous like that, so this is probably the first time I've ever made a mushroom biome on the actual surface. So, yeah, here we go. Mushrooms, 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 and more mushrooms, and more shrooms, and so many mushrooms are going to be growing here. It's going to be ridiculous. Oh, my Lord. Do we need to... Uh, should we put a second layer of mud in just in case? I feel like that might be a good idea, just so it kind of helps the game recognize, or help the world recognize that this is actually a mushroom biome. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I think it struggles. Sometimes I think it struggles to recognize certain biomes if there isn't, like, a lot of blocks from that biome. So, hopefully you guys get what I mean. Right. Is it daytime yet? I would really like a solar eclipse to happen. If that could actually happen, then I will literally... I don't know, man. I'd probably cry of excitement or something. And then probably poop myself. Nah. 
No solo eclipse. I just heard the uh, I just heard the daytime music kick in. God dang it! All right, okay, that's not gonna happen, is it? Ugh. I don't know. You 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 want things from Terraria, and it's just like nope. You're not allowed to progress through this thing, you damn idiot. You suck. Yeah. Well, I I don't know what to do right now because my plans were literally defeat the destroyer, make the Excalibur or Excalibur, should I say, and uh, you know do, do the do the mushroom biome things. So, I guess I've really got no choice but to go ahead and do this jump cut. So, <laughs> this is going to take quite a while, I'm not going to lie, guys. It's going to take quite a while, and this recording is going to wind up being a long one, even though the episode is only like 10 or so minutes so far. God damn it. It's so weird doing all these long recordings, because most of the time, I can't actually track how long the actual content episode is. Do you know what I mean? So I could be recording for like an hour, and the actual sort of usable content for the episode is only like something, what, like 15 minutes, so, I don't know, man, it's kind of hard to track, but hopefully, hopefully you guys can understand, I'm just trying to cut out the boring bits for you, so you guys don't have to watch it, so, uh, yeah, I guess, like I said, I've got really no choice but to go ahead and skip ahead until all of this mushroom grass has grown, so, I shall meet you guys, hopefully, once all of that is done. Alrighty guys, it appears our mushroom biome appears to be working because there's a bunch of mushroom related mob spawning, which I guess is kind of scary. Ooh, okay, the background has changed and it's all gone dark, which means this is officially a mushroom biome. Oh my god, I'm kind of excited and scared at the same time. Oh my lord. Right, so I believe I can make mushroom blocks somehow. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to our house. We are going to see if we've got any more blue mushrooms. And then we're going to see if we can craft them into buildable blocks. Because that would be like the most... I don't know. It would be the most sense. <laughs> I don't know. It will be the building block that would make the most sense in the biome. That's what I'm trying to say, basically. Uh, 44. That's not really a lot, is it? Uh, here we go. What do we got? Mudstone block. Um, hmm, mushroom walls, so where do we make the blocks? Interesting, interesting, there are no mushrooms, there's mudstone, should we make it a mudstone? That'd be a pretty interesting thing to go for, wouldn't it? I don't think I've ever made anything out of mudstone before, <laughs> there's probably a good reason for it as well, let's be honest right here, uh, right, where's the stone? 198, nice, 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 okay, here we go. No, seriously, can I actually make... So we've got walls, but nothing else. Is there, like, some sort of special crafting table I need to use? I actually have no idea, because I haven't really done this before. Planked wall? Uh, yeah, okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to make it out of mudstone. Uh, I have no idea how much I'm actually going to need. It's only going to be a small house. Probably won't even need that, to be honest with you. Uh, and we're going to have mushroom walls, just because that's kind of... That kind of makes sense, right? <laughs> So, here we go, and we need to make... Can we make mushroom-themed furniture? Yes! Mushroom chair. Uh, ooh, a mushroom sh a mushroom candelabra. Interesting. Mushroom lantern. That's pretty damn awesome. Okay, uh, a mushroom table. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, and let's make ourselves a regular crafting table, and we're going to put that in the house as well, just in case we want to do stuff there. Oh man, I'm kind of excited. We've actually got ourselves a surface mushroom biome. <laughs> it's probably nothing to you guys, but yeah, I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. All right, here we go. Hello, Mr. Mushroom Biome. Lord, look at this. Wow, I've got, I've got glowing mushrooms everywhere. It's great. I love it. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, hey, buddy, what are you? A mushroom zombie. Interesting, interesting. I don't know if you actually drop anything good, but if you do, then great. If not, then it doesn't matter too much, I guess. Right, so here we go. With the old mushroom biome house. Right, should we make it into a proper looking house? I feel like we should. You know, the, the truffle is kind of a special NPC. It gives you some pretty damn awesome stuff, let's be honest right here. So, I think it'll be a bit of an insult if we don't give him a proper, nice looking house. Do you, do you, do you know what I mean? So, one, two, three... Uh, yeah, that's three blocks, that's right. Okay, boom, 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 and across like so. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Okay, and a couple of platforms, they can go in the middle. How much is it? It's, it's going to be three platforms in the middle. All right, I am definitely okay with this though. <laughs> it's a proper looking little mud hat. Hat? Mud hat? Yes, because this is a hat. 
People live inside of hats. Indeed. Okay, so in case you guys didn't know, people live inside of hats. Yep, that's a, that's a, that's a thing. I need, I think I need one more mushroom. If I get one more mushroom, can I make a mushroom door? I believe I can. Mushroom door? Yes. Oh yeah, this is going to be so cool. Boom. Nice. Okay, and auto place all of this stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm hoping the truffle will spawn in here and not in the other NPCs. Because that's kind of the point of this place. To have the truffle. <laughs> oh man. Well, okay. Uh, mushroom lantern. Yeah, that can actually go perfectly in the middle. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. I love it. Right. I can go there. That can go there. And, uh, you know, can I... I, I need some more mushrooms. That's what, that's what I need. G are you going to give me mushrooms? Nope. How about over this side? Any mushrooms? I need all of the shrooms. I'm not addicted. I just want them, man. Hmm. Right. We need to farm the mushrooms out a little bit, don't we? Yes. Oh, hello, bunny. <laughs> it's just a random bunny in the freaking mushroom biome. He's just like, Sup? How are you doing? Eh, I'm a badass. What of it? Oh, I need one more. I need literally one more wall. God damn it. Oh, sorry. Ah, that was actually an accident. Or not. I don't know. I don't know if that was an accident. <laughs> Whoops. Well, sorry, bunny. You're kind of dead now. Right. Okay. So, das wall. You can go there. Okay, so that's probably finished. And let's just put the curves on. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. This is such a sweet little house. Look at it. The truffle is going to be so appreciative of where he's living. He's going to be living here rent-free and everything, you know? I set this place up for him because he's going to provide us with, like, one of the most OP spears in the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure the North Pole is superior to it. And I think one other... I think one other spear, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, man, this is so cool. Right, now, I guess we've got a bit of a waiting game until the truffle spawns in. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a time cut or jump cut. And hopefully, I shall meet you guys when the truffle has spawned in. Alrighty, guys, as you can see, the truffle has just arrived. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Oh, man. That was actually a reason why it wasn't spawning before. And, well, first of all, it was night time. And second of all, there wasn't actually a light source in this bottom half of the house. So I went ahead and I made a little candelabra. This little mushroom light thing. And also made a little torch thing. This little light here as well. So, yeah, we're all good to go, my friends. Look at this buddy. Shimeji. Shimiji. I'm going to call you Shimiji. Your name's Shimiji. Yes. Mushroom spear. 93 damage. Holy mother of God. Look at this. Hamush, uh, strong enough to destroy demon altars. Hmm, is that is that worth getting? I don't know. I actually don't know. 85% hammer power, 80%. Okay, average speed, insane knockback. Wow. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I might go ahead and buy both of them things. So we're going to buy the mushroom spear and... The Hamush. I've never ever had the Hamush before in my entire Terraria existence. So, I don't know, it might be time to try out something new. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really too fussed if it's like the best thing in the world or the worst thing in the world. I just want to see what it does, to be honest with you. So, here we go. This is probably going to clear us out of our money pretty much straight out. So, yeah, now we're going to have to do a bit of money farming in the way of... I don't know, probably an invasion is the best way of getting money, right? Or farming the wall of flesh. You get like 10 gold per boss fight of that. It's pretty ridiculous. Right, okay, here we go. Hey, buddy! Oh my god, the mushroom spear. Boom! Ah. Oh. Well, okay. Well, at least it doesn't have reduced uh, damage. I guess I'm okay with that. Hamush! Okay, it's a default one. Eh. Whoa! Whoa! Holy moly! I thought this animation was cool. This one is so much better. Look at it. It's like producing... What are they? Little clouds? Little mushroom clouds? Is that what they are? I know there's mushrooms that come off here. Oh my god. This is so cool. This is like the coolest thing ever. Like in the world ever. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, the mushroom spear is a direct upgrade from the adamantite glaive. As you can see, this does 68 damage. This does 93. So you can imagine it's quite the increase. In fact, it is... A 25 damage increase. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe we've still got this old thing. 
the old bloodlust cluster, otherwise known as the Crimson Axe. My god, we still got that thing, that's ridiculous. Right, can we reforge any of our things? I'm imagining the answer is no. Okay, can't do that one. I can't do that one either. God dang it. Oh, wait, I'm going to say we've got a bunch of stuff to sell from the uh, from that one time where we were just farming a bunch of crap. Look at all this stuff I can sell. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, buddy. There is a lot of stuff to sell. Okay, let me let me just... Uh, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I should uh, grab a chest. Okay, let's grab a chest. We're going to use a Skyware chest for this one. And we are literally just going to deposit all. Everything goes in there. Everything goes. Loot all of this stuff, sell it all, reforge our things, and boom, let's go. Okay, okay. Is there an easy way of uh, selling them? Can I can I shift click? Oh, oh, I can. Look, I can shift click them. I thought that would chuck them in the bin, but it doesn't. Nice. Yeah, buddy. All the golds. We just got like 50 gold out of that. Holy crap. Okay, right. Reforge. Gonna start with this. Boom. Forceful. Eh. Forceful again? Are you for real, man? Dude! Why would you give me the same blummin' thing twice over, you dumbass? Ah, uh, God damn it, man. That is a real butt... I don't know. That's, that, that, that just sucks, basically. Uh, uh, Soul of Might. I am pretty damn sure we're not gonna need a hundred of these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell 60 of them? I don't think we're going to need too much more than that, to be honest with you. Uh, right, okay, shop, sell, 48 gold. Gives us one more reforge for this thing. Just end my life now. Dude, why can't... I just can't get anything that increases my damage! What? Ah, alright, what about this? 13 gold... Anything else I can sell? Oh, I, I want to do the. I want to do the. I tell you what, let's just sell all of these. In fact, I'm going to leave 20 behind just in case we want to upgrade our wings again. Right, okay. Let's sell this again. I want to reforge my uh, my hammer. See what I can get. Really? Is that it? Wow. Those are ridiculously underpriced. Okay, anything else? Anything else? Adamantite type bars? Yeah, I really don't want to sell them. Gold bars? Eh, probably not. We could sell the diamonds and the rubies. I'm pretty sure we're not going to need the gems at any point, so here we go. Two gold, one gold. If you give me a bad reforge, I am going to kill you, okay? <sighs> Do you know what? Do you know what? Screw you, man. Screw you. You've taken, like, more than a platinum away from us from doing that. Or probably, as a big total, probably more than a platinum. I don't know. <sighs> Can't believe it. Nothing that increases our damage, only knockback and crit chance. Dude, that freaking sucks, dude. Ah, uh, Well, I guess on that note, it is time to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course, you want to see more of the series, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. I'm not going to lie, there may be a bit of a delay until the next episode, and that is because I really, really want a solar eclipse to happen. Like, really. So, there might be a lot of waiting or AFKing for me to do on this one until that happens, so, uh, yeah, great, I love AFKing while waiting for things to happen, especially since the, uh, Terrarian days, I'm pretty sure, are actually longer than the ones in Minecraft. God damn it. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for your continued support once again, and I will see you guys in the next episode.